OneNet was created back in 2001 to deal with a problem that the creators described as information that was not yet a document. So we all have this and OneNote is a great solution for it. Whether it's a research article or a phone number, we all need a quick and easy place to store stuff. Some of us do it on paper with a notebook and others of us who have digital skills, we do it in OneNote. I personally use OneNote on my Android phone, on all of my Surface devices, and even sometimes on an iPad. And I even share several OneNote notebooks with my family and friends. But what about with a team, in Teams? Well, just like you, Teams have lots of information that really doesn't belong in a document. Who do we use to do this? Where do we go to get that? What's the working behind this? Where are the meeting notes? These are all things that belong in a Team OneNote notebook. So let's take a look at how to create and share a OneNote notebook in Teams. And then we'll have a look at how you can move things from your personal or team notebook into the new team notebook in Teams for the team. Within a team, you can create a new notebook in a couple of ways. You could go into a channel and inside the files tab, click on the new dropdown and select OneNote notebook. Give it a name and the new notebook will be open and you can start working inside of it in Teams. This is the web-based version of OneNote inside of Teams and you can happily use the notebook there. If you're like me and you want more from OneNote, you can open this notebook up in your preferred OneNote app by dropping down Open in Browser and selecting Open in Desktop app. This could take a few seconds as OneNote opens the notebook and downloads an entire copy onto your device so that you can work with it when you're offline. Whether you're using the notebook in the Teams app or in the Desktop app, any changes that you make will be automatically synced with the notebook in Teams. Back in Teams, you'll see that there's a link to a new OneNote notebook under Files. Since you created it in Teams, it's accessible to everyone in the team. Click on it to open it again. But how do you let everyone know about this new notebook? If you try to attach it to a conversation on a channel, it doesn't show up as an option. And that's because with OneNote, we're not really dealing with a file. Rather, we're dealing with a collective set of files. So the way that we work with OneNote is a bit different. So let me show you two great ways to communicate about a OneNote notebook with your team in Teams. First, the notebook could really be an important part of the channel. So you might want to include it as a tab at the top. Click on the plus icon at the top of the channel and select OneNote from the list. Choose the notebook that you just created or create a new one from here instead. If you choose an existing notebook, you can drill down to the section or page level so that the tab will open up the notebook to that exact place when anyone clicks on it. So that's one way to share a notebook as a tab in a channel. But here's the way we do it in Teams. If you have your notebook open, right click on the notebook name and you'll see copy link to notebook. Clicking on that copies a link to that specific notebook to your clipboard so that you can paste it into an email, a chat message or into a team. If the person on the other end has access, they'll be able to click that link and it will take them straight to that notebook but go a little further, right click on a section, a page, even a paragraph, and you can copy a link to those specific places. For example, I might have a long page with heaps of information on it, and I wanna copy a link to a paragraph that's way down the bottom. I copy the link, then I paste that link into a conversation. When you click on it, it'll take you to that exact paragraph. Brilliant. So now I can start a conversation with my team and have them all working together with me on the same OneNote page within the team. Okay, so what about bringing a notebook into the team? Well, before you try and drag and drop the files across from your network drive to the files tab in a channel, let me stop you right there. Copying files won't work. And in the interest of keeping this video short, I'm not going to go through the details of why. And before you do this, talk to your team about it so that there are no surprises. The best method for migrating data from your old team notebooks into the new ones in Teams is to create a new notebook in Teams and move the sections and pages across. To do that, open the new notebook and the old notebook in the OneNote desktop app. Once you have them both open, you can right click on a page or a section and select move or copy. Select the new notebook as the destination and click on move. If you prefer, you can achieve the same thing, but much faster by dragging the sections from one notebook to the other. Give it a few moments to copy the data across and sync the changes for everyone. Do this for each section or page that you wanna migrate into the new notebook inside of Teams. Why use move and not copy? Well, if you leave behind the old pages, it's inevitable that you'll have some people who are happily working away on the old copy and some on the new copy, and that's bad. 
So if you move it and someone has missed the memo and they're looking for the old page in the old notebook, well, it won't be there anymore. And hopefully they'll remember that you told them that it would be moving and they'll go and find it in the team. Teamwork is the key here. So I hope that this video helped your team to migrate their old notebooks into Teams or to start using OneNote as a team for the first time. In our next video, we'll discuss the important but often overlooked process of whiteboarding with your team in Teams with Microsoft Whiteboard.